Greetings, this is Jazz of Jazz Reviews, and welcome back to the series. This is the top 10 cheat codes in video games. Remember now, glitches are unintended wonders of their own, not the good old traditional cheat codes found in good old nostalgic video games of old. Sadly, it seems those days are behind us, as gaming turns all the more serious. Let's take a look at what most developers have left behind. Kicking off at number 10. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA star. The Konami Code, first witnessed in a little NES title called Gradius, but was of course popularized by the infuriatingly difficult Contra, allowing for a total of 30 lives as opposed to a measly 3. If nothing else, this cheat code is certainly the most famous, spreading itself through a bajillion Konami games. Now it's everywhere. Acting as its own little easter egg cheat code, infesting a gajillion small and mainstream games from Spyro the Dragon to Assassin's Creed. Despite its worldly status, the original cheat effect was pretty basic. Still, it's a part of gaming pop culture now, but it's staying at number 10. Okay, okay, uh, uh, try this. Hit up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. Then we'll have unlimited lives. Stripping off at number 9, Metroid Justin Bailey. Who or what the hell is a Justin Bailey? No one really knows. But back in the days of what was strictly male audiences, Metroid's ending revealed Samus to be of the female persuasion. The aftermath was quite interesting, its shock value did well to stir controversy about female protagonists. No one expected to see a lovely girl behind the massive power suit exterior. But lo and behold, one little trick could have prevented its social impact on gaming if players had only entered the secret Justin Bailey code from the start. which allowed players to fly through the entire game in what would appear to be a pink, feminine swimsuit. At number 8. NBA Jam Big Head Mode It's great to see that NBA Jam has never taken basketball too seriously. Its goofy attempts at selling 2010's version paid off, with what was a cheat code to unlock both Democrats and Republicans in all-out Obama Bush political mayhem Barack Obama with the SPF at the NBA. But for this spot, I'm gonna have to stick with the original 1993 Big Head Mode, which in turn went on to inspire games from N64 Goldeneye to Ratchet and Clank and Batman. At number seven, get over here, Mortal Kombat Blood Mode. In the times when the ESRB age rating board system had yet to be established, Mortal Kombat arrived upon the scene and was clearly missing something, now a trademark, the blood and gore. Luckily of course, in spite of all the controversy, of all the complaints by parents in the face of adversity, a cheat was born to slap down all of the politicians and so-called experts. Midway Studios gave gamers what they wanted anyway for the Sega Genesis. At number 6, ah, something of legend, IDDQD, it's Doom's God Mode. Doom practically invented invincibility in video games, combined with the unlock codes for all of the keys and weapons in game. Players were free to pursue complete annihilation, best served by a big fucking gun. God Mode, the invulnerability to losing, which in my books, would be the purest form of cheating. At number 5, Age of Empires 3, Tuck Tuck Tuck. AoE fans may be more than familiar with what are absolutely mental unit cheats ranging from Canadian laser bears to George Crushington. I gotta hand it though to the monster truck enabled via the Tuck 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 cheat code. It's ridiculously out of place and capable of decimating the entire map. I believe and that's just the one monster truck, let alone an army of the things. You could be two hours into a game with a friend, having established the best fortress of all time, only to be steamrolled by the stupidest way to die in an historical strategy game. Up number four, Metal Gear Solid 3, clock setting. Now, I was very much on the fence as to include this one. The end boss fight is one of the most original Catamouse boss battles in gaming. The player had to physically track the end in one epic stealth pursuit, using the entire environment to his advantage to line up just a few shots on the decrepit sniping expert. 
It was incredibly challenging, but with the right know-how, the player could exit the game to alter the PlayStation 2's time settings. Drop your weapon. By inputting seven days or more into the future, you could then reload your save to find that the end died of old age, cancelling out the entire boss battle. This was wickedly cool, constituting as a definite cheat, not just simply an easter egg. But is it a code? Kind of. One or two days into the future wouldn't cut it. It had to be over a week. You mean he kicked the bucket in the middle of a battle? Complete with cutscenes. This cheat was specifically designed with a player in mind. Awesome. It was his dying wish to fight me, but I disappointed him. At number three. Oh, Tenchu. Debug mode. As seen with Sonic the Hedgehog 2's debug menu, it can be really cool to play around with the game's level design and see what results you could make for yourself. Sonic stands as the most obvious game when gamers think debug mode, but Tenchu in particular feels all that more special to me as one of the first stealth games I ever experienced. You can add whatever item, weapon and enemy type to whatever location you please. <laughs> You could also change your own character completely, spawning in to play as the actual bosses you would have otherwise faced. The real complexity stems from the fact that the player was free to dabble in enemy AI behavior, creating all kinds of challenges within the constraints of the map. But once Tenchu 2 released with an additional map editor, you were then playing with the near exact platform used to develop Tenchu without any extensive modding experience. And in essence, that is why cheat codes had originally existed, as simple development assists, though usually not quite to this extent. This is a little more impressive than Sonic's debug menu. Getting very close now at number two. Everybody likes a good money cheat, which certainly made The Sims a lot more exotic to play. Move objects on, however, was something that gave players a little more freedom. The freedom to move any object or sim they liked, with the ability to intersect objects into other objects. This gave artistic minds the means to create more unconventional houses and designs. But for sadistic people like me, I used it to instantly pack as many sims as possible into a swimming pool whilst taking away the ladder and waiting to see who drowned first. You could even muck around with objects already in use. I think our lady friend is missing a couple of features here, but with this cheat code, you could truly discover what really happens during Woo Hoo. And just after, you could move your lady friend back to the kitchen. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> move objects on created for a number of unintended scenes of crazy, allowing for one magical tool of creative cheating. And finally, at number one, when I think cheat code, one series dominates my mind. And that's Grand Theft Auto, Flying Car. From weapon cheats to Apache helicopters and tanks, whatever you wanted, it was yours, providing you knew the code. But what could be more psychedelic than flying your little car across the entire city? But hang on, why not combine the madness with the tank cheat? Now we're talking. Let's dive bomb the population and forget about the main missions altogether. That's what GTA was all about. And with a good old classic cheat book at your disposal, you could tear up the world any way you liked. Of course, GTA 5 decided to get a little more creative. It's now possible to become Superman. Sort of. This has been Jazz of Jazz Reviews with the top 10 cheat codes in video games. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if so, why not check out my full on dedicated reviews for the latest, biggest video games in the industry? It's kind of what I do review video games. Subscribe now if you're new, and keep an eye out for the latest top 10s and video game reviews. Stay up to date with the channel by following my Twitter, which you can find in the description below. You can also leave your top 5 or 10 suggestions in the comment section below. But until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the comments. Oh, I'm a one-man gangbuster!